Hi guys. Thanks for coming to watch another Unleashing Your Creativity video. We're going to show you yet another way to unleash your creativity. This time we're going to demonstrate how easy and fun it is to make some great little earrings that I call little bling. You know, I've noticed that when I have just a little bling on, it seems to draw people in to see what's going on. Like what, what is that? Oh, pretty. We have so many ideas for you to try out. I keep saying we because my 11 year old granddaughter is going to demonstrate how to make a pair also. So you can see how easy and fun it is to make little bling no matter what your age. This is a great way to unleash your creativity, great for making as gifts and great for saving money. So since there are so many different design ideas, this is going to be little bling video part one. And you can go to my website, unleashing-your-creativity.com to see part two and to see how to unleash your creativity on other creative projects by me and other people. Okay, let's go make a little bling. Okay, let me show you the supplies and equipment that you should have on hand to make some little bling. You can get one of these jewelry making toolkits online for like 12 to $15. And they come with the pliers you need, some cutters, everything you'd ever need to make our little earrings. But my must haves are these here. Cutters, round nose pliers, they call these chain nose pliers. These round nose pliers you'll be using a lot. For example, for twisting your wire, you make loops. These cutters are very nice to have. They're nice and flat here, so you can get into tight spaces. So cut excess wire. Also, these are called chain nose pliers. They're not like regular needle nose pliers. They don't have their flat inside. They don't have those ridges inside and the nose is shorter. But you use these to grasp and hold and twist and bend. So those three are the, the must-haves, in my opinion. But if you buy them separately, they're like $10 each. So you might as well just buy the case and get all the extra fun stuff with it. Also, you should get some sort of magnifying glass preferably on a stand. This is so helpful online for like $19. This one comes with a lamp so you can see what you're doing. And it comes with a couple different magnifying glasses so you can see what you're working on up close and personal. So you'll need to get a variety of beads and different shapes and sizes and colors that you like. Today we'll be using some of these beads um, but of course you'll have to get what you like because this is called unleashing your creativity, not unleashing Mary's creativity. So today we'll just use some of these as a guideline. You can find millions of different beads in every color and size at stores like Michael's or online. There are also a ton of chains to choose from to take apart and use their links for so many different earring designs. I'll show you what I mean with some of the earrings that I demonstrate today. And some organizer cases are also really nice to keep your supplies separate. This organizer kit I got online for $5. Get the kind of earring hooks or posts that you want to use. I always get sterling silver because they're hypoallergenic. I just like sterling silver but you can also get it in stainless steel. Some jump rings used to make a, a chain or to add different pieces. These here are called head pins and there's the flat ended kind and the round ball at the end kind. I usually use the flat end unless I'm incorporating a little dot at the end of my design, but these just help the bead from falling off. Just keeps your bottom of your earring in place. You'll need to get some crafting wire. Uh, crafting wires come in all sorts of different thicknesses called gauges. The higher the gauge number is the thinner wire. 
So 20 gauge is pretty thick compared to the 24 gauge. This is 22 gauge, which is the medium, which I love to work with. It's the easiest for me to manipulate and get it to do what I want. I also have this piece of black velvet. You don't have to use velvet, but it's a nice thick material where your beads won't roll around, fly away from you. And it makes it easy to pick up the beads or other items you're working with. Okay, let's go make some bling. Now these earrings I just love. Just simple, elegant, little bling. Made with 22 gauge wire here that you just wrap around a silver bead and twist it up here. Same piece of wire making that loop and going right into the ring of the post. Easy, pretty. Let me show you how to do it. So first you cut your 22 gauge wire to about two and a half inches long. That'll give you a little wiggle room. Okay, so you're gonna take your wire and wrap it around the base of your round nose pliers here. The base of mine is 3 16 in diameter. I just wanted something a little bigger than the bead I was using, which is 3 seconds of an inch. So it can swing a little bit in the loop. Okay, so I'm going to fold this wire kind of in the middle. Bring it up to the top where it meets. So I'm going to put my bead on before I forget. I'm going to take these pliers here and I'm going to go about a half inch down. I'm going to fold it over in front of the straight side. There's our earring. I'm going to wrap this around the back all the way back around. This is actually the front. So I'm looking at the front right now. Okay, so I'm coming around to the back, keeping it tight, as tight as I can to the wire, this wire. Now I'm gonna cut it off as flush as I can to, to the back, close to the wire. You can feel it's kind of rough. So you can just give it a little, where you cut it there, just give it a little squeeze. Yeah, there, that's nice and smooth. So here's the front. And I'm gonna take this excess piece, fold it. Cut it to about quarter inch, 5 16 somewhere in there. Take my round nose pliers on top, grab a hold, and I'm wrap it around. Grab another hold, bring it around. So there's that. So I am gonna open that just a speck so that I can slip it in the post there and close it up. There you go. So pretty. Just a little classy little bling with twisting some wire. Okay, here are some super simple earrings. Uh, I got this strand at Michael's. Very simple with a, a few different kinds of flowers on it. Put some silver beads in between, two of them. Have one head pin going up the middle with a loop into the hole of the ring on the post. Done. Let me show you how simple. Okay, get your head pin, put it through your beads. There's that. Fold this as tight as I can here. There. Fold it. I'm going to take the top, roll it around. And grab it again here. Continue it around. Keep adjusting as I go. Make sure I have a good loop. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that to this. So I do have to open this up just a speck. Just wanted to, so I'm gonna go kind of bring it out the back. Open it up so that I can close it right back. I'm gonna stick it in the hole, the ring of the post. Close it back up.
And there you have it. Simple, pretty, easy, little bling, happy bling. Minutes, that's all it took. Watch all the different bling ideas with just one chain. Okay, let's make these pretty little things. This little bling, so easy. All you need are these ball head pins, these bugle beads, some metallic pony beads they call them. This link is from this chain, so easy. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, let's get these beads on the head pin. Okay, there's one. Then we're gonna cut it off and make a loop and attach it to this link and then put it on there. Okay, now holding the beads close to the bottom, I'm going to fold this wire over 45 degrees to 90 degrees, whatever you feel like. And we're going to cut this off to a quarter inch, 5 sixteenths of an inch. And I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm going to roll it over all the way till it touches. Can you see that? Okay, I'm gonna actually open them up a little bit. Just push it off to the back so that I can put it onto the link here. There, like that. And then close it right back up. There you go. See that? Let's do the rest. I'm gonna bend this over, cut it, quarter inch to 5 sixteenths, roll it over until it meets the base of the other wire. You see that? Open up the back just a little bit, enough to put it onto that link. We're gonna close it right back up. Minutes. Last one, fold over, cut it, and roll it. Push it to the back there, fits onto our link. Close it back up. Okay, so now you have your three there. We're gonna open up this ball on the hook, and then slip this right on. Close it right back up. There they are. So pretty, so easy. Pretty little colorful bling. Love it. I initially made these to go with this sweater I had and tried to find colors similar to what was in the sweater. Worked out. Hi guys, so I am the super awesome granddaughter that she was talking about. My name is Abby. And today we are outside because it is very beautiful outside and so yeah i'm going to be demonstrating how to make these beautiful cute earrings love love them <laughs> so you can make them even if you are a child they are very easy to make so we're out here with the beautiful birds and speaking of beautiful over here we have our beautiful sea themed earrings with two pearls and a tiny little turtle so yeah let's demonstrate how to make it so this is the earring hook and we're gonna open it and there's five jump rings on each side and we're going to open them up and we're gonna make them into a chain. We're gonna link them together. And then on that chain, we're going to put this pearl and put it, push it into this. And then we're going to cut off like this little top part. And then we're going to make it like a hoop thingy and connect it to the chain. And then this turtle one is going to connect to this chain, not this one. And then the same exact thing um, this pearl is going to go onto this and then hook on to the chain and then they're all going to go on the earring hook. So yeah, let's get started. So first I'm going to start by making the chain. So you're going to grab your jump rings and so you open it and then link it and you close it like this and you have your first little link there of the chain 
And then you're going to grab another jump ring, open it, and link it to the other ones like this, and then close it on up like that. Now we're going to grab our other jump ring, and there's going to be five links in the chain. We're going to open this jump ring up, link it to the other ones, and then close it on up. I'm going to add one more, open this, and link it together, and then close it. So it should look like this, with five links on the chain. So now we're going to grab our white pearl and get the ball head pin and just stick it through. And then we're going to cut off the top only a teeny tiny bit on the top. And now you're going to grab your round nose plier and make it into a loop, a little hoop thingy, like this. And then you're going to grab your chain and you're going to open up your chain like this. And then you're just going to link the hoop onto the last link like this and then you're just going to close up your link so it should look like this when you're done very cute so next grab our earring hook open it and then just slide your chain right through close it up it should look like this. And so now you're going to make your other chain. So we're going to grab our link. Then you're going to open it. Grab another link. Link it to it. You're going to link your link. And you want to make sure that they're all closed so they don't fall. So I have two on. Open this link. Hook it to this, close it, then grab another one, open it, link it, close it, grab your last one, because there's five links in the chain, open it, link it, and close it. So it should look like this with five links on the chain. And then grab another ball head pin, and you're going to grab your purple pearl, cut off the top of it a little bit, and now you're going to grab your round nose pliers, and then you're going to loop it, make a hook thingy. So it should look like this. And now you are going to open up the last link in the chain, like this. Link it, close it. Okay, so it should look like this when you're finished. Just a little chain with a pearl at the end. And then get your flathead head pin and stick the turtle through like this. Then just clip off the tip and grab your round nose pliers and just make another loop like we did on the pearl. And then on the third link down, you're gonna open it up and then you're going to just link the turtle on and then just close it on up. So it should look like this, very cute. Now we're going to grab the earring hook where the, we put the other one on. We're going to open it up and we're just going to stick that chain in there and close it on up. So it looks like this, pearls and turtles. Oh, so beautiful. So guys, here is my sea themed bling. It looks so cute and it is so easy to make and so fun. It only took minutes to make. I cannot wait to wear them. 
And you can make them even if you're a kid. I mean, I'm 11 years old and I made them and I thought they were really fun. If you just want like a craft to do, they're so fun and they only take a couple of supplies and my grandma showed you some of the supplies that you need. So yeah, I love them and I can't wait to wear them. So thanks for watching, bye. So there you have it. See how easy it is to make yourself a little bling whenever you'd like some? You could even start your own little business. The possibilities are endless, folks. So if you'd like to see some additional design ideas with instruction, please click on the link below to go to my website, unleashing-your-creativity.com to watch Little Bling Part 2. And see other projects there upon which you can unleash your creativity. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And remember, this is Unleashing Your Creativity, where creative expression, big and small, is unleashed for anyone who wants to join along. Until next time, keep on unleashing your creativity. See ya.